This is Paul. Paul is a beagle, a happy beagle. He loves going for walks with his human, playing fetch, and cuddling on the sofa. This is Otto. Otto is also a beagle, a beagle in a lab. He has never felt grass under his paws, or lain on a sofa. Thousands of dogs are used in animal experiments. Most of them are beagles or foxhounds, because they are so good-natured. In Germany alone, between 2,500 and 4,000 dogs are forced to suffer in animal experiments every year. In factory-like facilities, corporations, mainly in the U.S. and the U.K., breed beagles for use in medical research. The young animals are separated from their mothers and shipped off to suffer and die in labs all over the world. Around half of the dogs used in Germany have to suffer in regulatory tests. The animals are used to test whether chemicals or drugs are harmful to us humans, and they usually die in the process or are killed afterwards. In one of these tests, the dogs are force-fed substances into their stomachs with a tube every day for weeks. Tests on dogs or animals of other species do not lead to results that can be transferred to humans. There are many human foods that are highly toxic to dogs, such as chocolate, grapes, raisins, macadamia nuts, and onions. Likewise, medicines that work for humans can lead to serious poisoning if dogs accidentally eat them. Even small amounts of ibuprofen or diclofenac can have a fatal effect on dogs. Blood pressure medication, thyroid hormones, or vitamin D supplements are also extremely dangerous for dogs. Animal testing on dogs does not make chemicals or medicines safer for humans. Dog experiments are also carried out in cardiovascular research, surgery, dentistry, and oral surgery. Dog molars are extracted, so that metal pins can then be screwed into their bones. Or they are given a heart attack by having a coronary artery tied off. It is absurd to think that we can improve treatment for human heart conditions by simulating heart failure in dogs. The causes for a disease are completely different in artificially damaged animals than in humans. The main factors for heart failure in humans have long been identified: obesity, a diet too heavy in meat and fat, smoking. And a lack of exercise. The experiments carried out in dentistry and oral surgery fail because the teeth, jawbones, and oral flora are completely different in dogs than in humans. The unbelievable suffering of animals in experimental laboratories is not necessary. We need human-based research. Many organs can be grown from human cells to test heart drugs and other medicines. In contrast to animal experiments, test methods like this provide meaningful results that can actually help sick people. In the interests of humans and animals, the animal research system must be abolished quickly, in order to pave the way for innovative animal-free research. Medical progress is important. Animal experiments are the wrong way.